Hi, this is problem 16 from the 2021 AMC 12B. Suppose A, B, and C are positive integers such that the sum is 23 and the sum of all GCD pairs is 9. What is the sum of all possible distinct values of the sum of squares? All right, so right off the bat, I notice that all these equations are symmetric in A, B, and C, by which I mean we can exchange any pair of variables and the equations are unchanged. Now, this is a very helpful symmetry so, for example, the solution set for this first equation occupies a triangular plane section in the ABC space. So uh, let's try to draw that. Now, because of the symmetry, anything we discover about these equations will be symmetric about the medians of this triangle. So we need only examine a small section of this triangle, say this section, where A is less than or equal to B, less than or equal to C. So that means that we're dealing with ordered triples, and that should be easier going forward. So now let's try to reduce this problem further with some even odd analysis. We have uh, two equations that sum to an odd number. So let's try to analyze what patterns can make that happen. So we could have three odd numbers adding to 23. That would give three odd GCD numbers, which can sum to an odd number. So that's a valid pattern. We could also have two evens and an odd summing to an odd number. But now the first GCD would be even, second two would be odd, that would sum to an even number, and that's not a valid pattern. So we're only de always dealing with three odd numbers that add up to 23, but uh, unfortunately that leaves us with quite a few possibilities. But uh, three ordered odd numbers that add to nine, there are not too many patterns that satisfy that. So let's try to attack it from that end. Let's uh, look at the uh, GCDs and what uh, pattern of three ordered odd numbers can add to nine. Three, three, three can do that. One, three, five can do that. And I think the last one is one, one, seven. Okay, so now let's see, what does that tell us about our ABCs? If the GCDs are all three, that means that all of the ABs and Cs are multiples of three but that doesn't match up with a sum that's not a multiple of three, so this is not a valid pattern. One, three, five. For the GCD of five, we could have numbers such as, say, five and five, and then the balance number would be 13, but that doesn't create a GCD of three. So we're gonna need to have five, 15, and then the balance number would be three to give us the GCD of three. So that's a valid pattern. For GCDs of 117, we could have two numbers, say 7 and 21, but uh, that already sums beyond 23, so that's no good. So the numbers to create the GCD of 7 would have to be 7 and 7. The balance number would be 9, which then correctly creates the GCDs of 1 and 1. So that's a valid pattern. So I think there are only two valid patterns of ordered odd numbers that uh, satisfy uh, these uh, problem statement and in the first case the sum of squares would be 225 25 9 259 in the uh, second case 81 49 49 179 the grand sum 438 for choice B.